Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a quick a video, um, eye tutorial, makeup tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I'm doing um, a look for St. Patrick's Day. That is the reason why I have on a green shirt. You probably can't see it. But um, I'm going to be doing um, some eye makeup for St. Patrick's Day if you like the color green. Um, I've already done one of my eyes to make the video a little bit shorter. So if you want to just take a look at it. And we can get started with the other eye. Okay. So what I'm using today, I've already prepped my face. Um, I have on my concealer by Black Radiance. And it is the perfect blend concealer by Black Radiance. And I got it from um, my local drugstore because I like drugstore makeup. Um, also, I have um, my primer by um, Mary Kay. And then I also have some face powder also by Black Radiance. And it is the 8201 Perfect Blend. It is a mineral makeup. Very good, you guys. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead on with the video and go ahead on and start the eye. Just to let you all know, some of the colors that I'm putting on my eye, I don't have a number for. But if you want to use some lighter greens and some darker greens just to uh, mimic this makeup as much as possible, that will also work for you. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, I have some tape. Because I've used some tape to contrast my eye and make it a little bit more defined. So all you have to do is take a piece of um, plastic tape or scotch tape or whatever you have. And all you're going to do is you're going to cut it. And you're going to place it right in the angle of the eye. You see that? And I know it looks crazy right now, but it's going to make the makeup really pretty. Okay? So you're going to place that there. Then you're going to go ahead and put the primer on it. And I'm using a brush by um, e.l.f. It's a foundation brush, but I'm going to use, I use it to put on my, um, put on my paint pot or shadow base for my eyeshadow. So you're going to put it on like so. And what the tape does is keep you from going all the way outside of the eye going too far. And I always go all the way up. Because we're going to be putting eyeshadow, eyeshadow all the way up. Okay. Alright, this next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a regular flat brush. And as you can see, I've already got the green up there. I'm going to be using an eyeshadow um, palette that I got from eBay. Got this from eBay a while ago. I think I only paid like $3 for it. It has an array of colors in it. And these are the colors. Hope it doesn't fall. You can see that. And I'm going to be using out of the green. You see the green sections? These are the colors I'm going to be using in this row right there. The first one and the third one, not the middle one. The first one and the third one are the colors that I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two colors together. The first and the third one that I tell you about. And I'm going to put it right on the eyelid. Okay. And once again... The tape keeps you from going all over the place. And don't worry about the access because we're going to cover that in just a second. Alright, so that's all we do for that one. And you make sure you hit every spot pretty good. Okay. The next one I'm going to use, I'm going to use next thing I'm going to be using is the Wet n Wild palette. It's called Blue Had Me at Hello. And it's 737. You can see that. And it tells you, it gives you a little indicator on how to place your eyeshadow on. It has one, two at the bottom, and then three in the midsection. And this is the black that I'm going to be using. And this is by Wet n Wild. You can also get this from your local drugstore. 
I'm going to take the sparkly one. If you can see, it has a really good sparkly base to it. That is the one that I'm going to be using on my outer eyelid. Then you pack that on. Now I always like to take my brushes and clean them off. Just use a regular rag or something like that. It doesn't have to be anything particular. And then what you're going to do, this is also a blender brush. So you're going to take it and blend it in. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Naked palette, and I've used this in several of my videos. you all have seen it. I want to take the Virgin Eyeshadow because I want to give my eyebrow a highlighter. And this is that right there. You can't even see the name on it, I don't think, anymore. This is the Naked palette. And I'm going to take another regular brush that has the regular tip. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to highlight my eyebrows to the top. Now I'm going to go ahead on and take and finish up my eyebrow. If you see, I have an eyebrow done on this side already. I don't want to step away from the camera to do that so that I can see. I'll be right back. Hey, you guys. I'm back. I just did something quick to my hair today. Put a little flip in it. And it's going to be cute. So, I left off like a bunch of S on this video. So, y'all, I got a new camera. I don't know how in that heck to work it so y'all please bear with me okay i write the directions so and i still don't know how to work it so if anybody has a canon um please give me a call and let me know how to work this freaking video hit me up on facebook thanks anyway so what i left off you guys i left off i have added to my waterline you see that greenish looking tint i've added some eyeliner by Hard Candy. It's called Take Me Out Liner Eyeliner Pencil. I hope you can see the name on it, you guys. It's so pretty. So that's the green, and it looks like this. It's really not green, it's probably in the blue family, but I think it looked good with this eyeshadow. So I added that in the waterline. I also forgot to mention to you all what I added for my mascara because. Sometimes I wear lashes. I really don't ever put them on a video because I really don't really know how to master how to put on the freaking eyeliner, the freaking um, eyelash bands. So I keep using trying to find good, keep using good mascara, try to find good mascara. So I'm always gonna use my Almay One Coat Dial Up. You all have seen this in the video before. It's really good. It has dials on one, two, three. I always take it to three. And then I just got a new Mega Plump Waterproof Mascara by Wet n Wild. And this is what it looks like. It's a pretty, in a pretty little pink mascara thing. And it's supposed to plump up your, it's supposed to plump up your lashes. I don't know what you think. And these are my real lashes, you guys. So tell me what you think. You think it plumps it up? Or what? What you think? Tell me. Let me know. Well, there's nothing in my nose. I was all in the camera. So, y'all, this is my look. I hope you all like it. Um, I hope you subscribe to this channel. Okay. So, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I'm about to go out and run some errands. Um and i look forward to doing the next video um thank you for watching have a great day you guys Bye.
Yeah, she's a Ruben. Me and my wife, yeah, that's a dude. Hey, nothing matches her beauty. Got that love to be in the movies. Got a smack just like Ruth. Yeah, she down for whatever. If you see your pointer out, she got on the board. Anticipation, been patiently waiting, hoping that the girl in my dreams walk in my life. Cause the girls in the past didn't treat me right. But oh man, she got that glow. She's a PYT for sure. You can cook and you a Christian girl. You crush the competition. I say nails tight, hair right. This is the type of girl that I love. Except her makeup does her makeup. So her beauty comes from above. It can't no deal if she got that ring. It can't be bought by material things. No shot impressed the daddy. 